In this demonstration, I'd like to take you through a practical example of how you can use the new flattening and forming command inside of NX11. In this case, we're going to use it to define the label area on this perfume bottle. The first thing we need to do on activating the flattening command is to select the source faces, the origin and the primary direction for the flattened surfaces. Notice we can drag the resultant flattened surface away from the original geometry or even reorient it, in this case, to the works coordinate system. So now we have our flattened surfaces onto which we can define our label area. It is common for the label area to have been designed in a tool external to the CAD system. In this case, we're going to take advantage of a profile that was generated using Siemens Concept Design App Catchbook and import it into NX. We import the label area into NX via a DXF file that was saved inside the Catchbook app. We position it relative to the coordinate system and then all we have to do is to reposition it relative to our flattened label area. And In this case we're just going to use a simple point-to-point -point move. Finally, to orient the label area correctly, we use another move and this time simply rotate it through 90 degrees. So now that we've got our label area positioned correctly on our flattened surface, how do we get these curves back onto our original bottle? Well, it's simple. We go back into our flattening and forming command and this time select the form and reuse type followed by the flattening feature and then the objects we want to transform back onto our perfume bottle. So there we have our label area defined on our perfume bottle. All we need to do now is to create a little raised area for the label to sit on and we'll use the emboss command inside of NX to do this. Finally, we'll place the label onto the label area. We'll just temporarily hide some of the other geometry, such as the flattened surface and the curves that we used for the label area, and then move into the render environment so we can apply our decal to the label area. We simply select the decal we want, we select the faces that we want the decal area to sit on and then we position it where we want on that label area scaling it down if need be. We just make sure it's straight by reorient it up a particular vector make a slight adjustment and then we can use Ray Trace Studio to get a good idea of how the label is going to look and sit on our bottle. And there we have our label complete. 